my friends, um, family really, in the Lord, around the world, um, I, I had the privilege of meeting a man a um, few years ago, and he, um, he serviced uh, the heavy equipment that, that I ran. And, um, and every night, day, when he would come to uh, service whatever I was running, um, he would drive up to my hoe and I, I'd bring it off the, the pile pretty quickly when I saw him coming. And, and, and he, he and I, he would climb out of his, his um, fuel truck and I would climb off my hoe and I would walk over to him and he'd be walking right at me. And I'd say his name and he'd say mine and we would hug each other. Because that man truly loves God. And I was just sitting out at the fire um, and he called me from the corner of the fence and he said, Jim, I need prayer. I said, my brother, I, I mean, I, I'm in the Lord. I just love that man. He, because he loved God just just the same way that I do. And I looked at him and I thought, what have you been going through, son? And he told me, his wife, he showed me her picture. Beautiful, beautiful young lady, young family, a, a young family and my brother who was man enough to stand up for God he said my wife died and he says it's just so hard I, I, I said I I, I have not lost a wife due to death. Divorce, yes. Um, he said, Jim, I need prayer. And um, so I prayed for him right then and there. I told him, I said, you know, I, I have people who watch my YouTube channel from uh, around the world and um, I will ask them to pray for you. This is a, a young man. I, I don't hardly think his, his lady was 30, hardly at all, 30, 35 years old. And she passed. And she, well, having a, a husband like that man, I'm sure that she knew the Lord well. I remember the first time I met him, he walked up to the bus, uh, the bus stop where uh, he and I were getting on a bus first time we ever met each other and I introduced myself to him and told him about my son's miracle and he said I am so glad to meet you I said I am so glad to meet you friends uh, you you who watch Cowboy Jim I, I have a lot of people make prayer requests. 
I have never experienced seeing a man so broken as my brother. We we hugged each other when we met at work when he was fueling my hoe or, or dozer or whatever, truck, not truck. But he loves God and he has a challenge ahead of him. I think he has at least two daughters, young. I'm asking you a favor. Uh, my brother over in Perth, Australia. Brother, you ever met this brother of ours? Your heart would be as broken as mine. I think of all the people in Africa and Scotland and all across the northern states and Texas and Hawaii and Alaska. I want to ask you a favor. And that is to pray with me. So, Father, I ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you touch my brother's heart. I know he's your son. And he lost his, his beautiful wife. And God, they need, he needs help knowing how to do the right thing, raising his, his, his children without the woman that he loved, loves. Thus I ask, Father, then, that you will help his broken heart to heal and God that you would help his children who have lost their mother that you God will build a hedge of thorns around about them that no more fiery darts will get through from Satan that you cover and protect them with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. God, I... I pray that you help my brother and that he knows, and I know he knows, that he and I both love God Protect my brother, I pray. My friends uh, on the YouTube channel from around the world, please pray for this man and his children, at least two daughters. I pray for a lot of people who go through a lot of issues. I don't think you can go through a worse issue, situation, than what my brother is, is going through now. So God, touch his heart. Touch his children's hearts. Help him not to be irreparably broken. I pray in the precious name of Jesus Christ, God, for your glory, your honor, because you, you have shown both he and I true love, And Father, I will never forget that man. It's not often 
I get to climb out of a piece of equipment and walk down onto the ground about 18 feet or so and and the fuel guy is walking straight towards me and giving me a man hug because father he and I love you so Cowboy Jim, YouTube, prayer warriors, go to work, please. Remember this brother. I'm not using his name. He told me his wife's name twice. I'm not using her name. She is such a beautiful lady. I know that I've said many times, you're going to live until you die. And that is so true. According to my understanding of scripture, God set it up so that you have a choice to humble yourself and pray and say a simple prayer. God, forgive me. I accept that Jesus Christ is your son that he, Jesus, suffered, bled, and died on the cross for our sins. I'm so sorry for having lived the way I have. Help me to be what you want me to be. The frailty and the brevity of life on earth. Scripture says our days are numbered. Count our days. We're to count our days. I look forward to meeting that lady uh, in heaven. I have that much confidence in my brother's integrity and understanding of Scripture and love of God. Please pray. Please pray. And if you have prayer requests, you just send them. One of the important things in my recollection of life, living, is the love that true believers have for each other and for the Lord. Pray for those little kids. I ask this in the precious name of Jesus Christ. For your glory, honor, and honor, God. And I pray in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.